Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Kay here. Who else would it be? I ask myself in all sincerity. However, we'll move on. Um, I am here today to share these little projects. I'm actually in another swap um, with the same person I've been swapping with for a little while now who pointed me in the direction of Wendy Townsend who did a wonderful tutorial explaining how she makes these wonderful tag pocket pool I don't know what you'd call them really but tag pockets will do quite nicely um, obviously suitable for uh, journals and that kind of thing but also in my opinion quite a nice little thing to send off as a little um, friend gift or something of that nature sorry that was my tripod leg here that moved a little bit then so I thought I'd come along I will obviously leave a link to Wendy's channel below this video I'm none too sure as to whether it's an original idea I think possibly other people inspired Wendy but I, I'm not entirely sure as I say I just got into the tutorial liked what I was seeing and thought right I'm going to give that a little go as always when something changes hands you change it up a little bit to suit your needs hence the little miniature of the same theme in this little grouping so I'll start with this one and as you can see it is it's essentially the shape of a tag with a little folder bit on the front. The folder bit is actually an envelope and then you decorate the front here and inside you have the pocket from the envelope. I've used some um, coffee dyed paper here because in effect that is the base of this project it's made up using coffee one sheet of coffee dyed paper in this little pocket on the side I've put a little tag that I made some time ago for the tag challenge that was being held um, by Artie Mays and I think Shabby Dabby Doo -da going back a ways um, and I never did anything with the tag so I've popped it into this little pocket here where it nestles quite nicely then you have the main body of the tag and I'll measure it for you because Wendy does on her tutorial and from top to toe six and a half inches roughly and side on probably four and a quarter which is nice. Your little envelope pocket here clearly depends on which envelope size you use but for this purpose my envelope is five and a quarter by if I take it up to that seam there four and a half ish it's the C5 size as, as far as it goes um, so there is the decorated tag as you see it there with the little grommet in the top I've used the Tim Holtz little people here but then you pull out on the tag and you have another little spot that you can either use purely for decoration or to add other bits to you could obviously put a little dangle off the tag pull there and pretty it up even more but that lives in the bottom pocket of the basic tag shape. I've put a little bit of ribbon in the top there and when you close it and turn it over you can either use this bit which is not how Wendy did it, it's how I've done it as a tuck spot but should you want to just anchor it down onto a page in your journal it's not too much of a, a to do to glue this down glue over it and actually anchor it to a page which is why I didn't want to make it too decorative on the back so that's the first one I think a lot of these papers are Artie Mays because I do have 
quite a bit of her papers and so on in my stash, being a DT member. This is the next one that I made. In principle, it's the same. You've just layered up an envelope which you've wrapped around the tag made out of uh, coffee dyed paper. And I just love this. This is this is more um, a nature pocket, if you like. I've used one of the recent word banners from Artie Mays that she's put in. As at some point in life, the world's beauty becomes enough. And these are quotes from various people regarding the world, nature and that kind of thing. Then you open it up inside and there is the pocket. And I just finished off a little tag that I had ready. Listen to silence. It has so much to say by Rumi. I don't know who these people are, but they're all signed for and sealed. And as I say, this was a lovely kit from um, Artie Mays, one of her more recent ones. In fact, it was a freebie. I'm telling you lies. It was a freebie in the Artie Mays and Friends group on Facebook because Andrea was looking for um, quotes for herself and generously offered up her find to her group. This is another Artie Mays idea here, which I put onto the front of the tag. I didn't check this and I really should have to make sure there's nothing nasty in it. It's actually, <laughs> oh my dear, a K Scarpetta book and it's gruesome in places because she's, um, if you haven't heard of her, she's a... Uh, she does autopsies and so on on bodies and usually they turn out to be bodies that have been murdered so you know there's no swear words or anything on it but I did the oxygenated blood <laughs> Merry Christmas blah 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 this is a, a, a bony fide sheet from the book which was um no, it's gone. The title of it is gone. Anyway, for the purposes of this, you cut out your circles. You then put acetate behind them and then find images that you like. Ink up the sheet. I think I might have to do a little bit more on that to hide the words. Um, and then you put in the images, as I say, and that makes a really, really lovely tag front to this particular little folder here. This is the image that I chose to go on the slide within the little tag here, which suits very, very nicely. I, as I say, I've tried to keep this one nature themed because I think there are lots and lots of images where you're doing a kit that would suit these, these birds and tags like this. Then you fold it over and it's the same scenario on the back. The little tuck spot that you can use on the coffee dyed paper or you can just anchor it into your um, journal or onto a page or even a, has it, have it as a really decorative card topper. It's entirely up to you if you're not into journal making. This kind of thing you needn't pass by. Sorry, I keep jiggling the table because they do have lots of other effects, uh, other uses. And this is the last tiny little one. And again, it's the same principle. This is a mixture of, of um, digi papers. This is G. Kerr. This is Artie Mays. Um, a little bit of wallpaper there that I've just anchored down. I liked it because it's a little bit sparkly and I wanted to make it different. But you could add another image to the back or use it for journaling. You know, it's limitless really. It just depends what you, as the maker of the little gift, wants to do with it. Then there's this lovely little water lily here with the dragonfly up in the corner. And then you pull this out and there's another little quote that says at some point in life the world's beauty becomes enough. I think I've used that twice. It did it did please me though that one very much so it's hardly surprising that I've used it twice like that. 
Oh dear, anyway, then you've got your little pocket fulls. There's room to journal here. I wanted to keep it quite plain. A tiny little tag on the front with the same colours all running through. And again, you can journal. And this one I have decorated the back of. It's not a tuck spot per se, but you can journal on the back and have it as a little pocket filler if that's how you chose to do it. So those are the three things I've made for my most recent swap. Um, as I say, I will leave links to Wendy Townsend, who is also the Spanish Spanish crafter. I'm not quite sure. You might know her by um, either name. And of course to Artie Mays for the digi papers and the acetate rounds there because it, it is a lovely lovely thing to do if you can find the right book and clearly I haven't this time but we won't talk about it anyway thank you very much everyone for joining me as always it is very much appreciated welcome to my new subscribers welcome and hello to my long-standing subscribers and a special hello to people that have been with me all the way through which I thoroughly thoroughly appreciate I hope you're all well and starting to pick up the pieces post Covid or as post Covid as we can get take care everyone happy crafting bye bye for now